Number one is the creation of good quality jobs. That's top and top foremost, that the creation of jobs. The second is the value adding to the economy when it, it comes to especially export oriented or oriented uh, industries. And uh, the, the, the third option would be whether uh, you have the right mix of foreign or, or local investment. If the project ticks those boxes, the likelihood is that it would be eligible for, for allocation of industrial space. We're not looking at going outside development zones. We have predefined areas that can be developed. So obviously we're looking at vertic a more vertical approach. We have to ensure that the, the, the site, the specific site is optimized in a way to accommodate more than one or two or three operators. And that leads us to the proper clustering proposal that we are, we are currently working on. We have particular projects ongoing at the moment that are co-funded. We are promoting basically what used to be a crafts village with the regeneration of the infrastructure and obviously regenerating the whole concept of crafts and dyeing crafts and giving them support when it comes to uh, cre the creation of a brand. So the made in Malta process through a creative, uh, creative manufacturing, which is crafts. Another area that we are, we are uh, taking advantage of is basically the island of Gozo. We have uh, uh, an industrial park that required a specific micro enterprise environment and the creation of the, the, the knowledge base economy, an innovative hub that will be focused on the island of Gozo. Let's put, it a, put a, a clear example. Uh, if we go to the south of the island, there's the Halfar Estate, which is one of our major estates in terms of, 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 of areas that is specific to pharmaceuticals, specific to the upcoming medical cannabis operators. From a landlord perspective, we are being proactive on a two-fold approach. There's the immediate allocation of, of areas that can be considered as the startup for these companies to kickstart their operation rather fast. You start from 500 square meters, then you can expand to your actual project. You have 14 projects that, that can double up, and obviously there's limit to, to, to that nature, but uh, obviously I believe that the actual operators would excel in their product provision. So we can, be, we can provide the right ecosystem for them to excel in that respect.